Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited because this time tomorrow I'm going to be on a little tin can in the sky about 30,000 feet high. I don't actually know how high planes go but probably about 30, 40,000 I would guess. That high in the sky on my way to New York City. The Big Apple, the city that never sleeps. What else do we call it? The land of, what does Alicia Keys call it? Concrete jungle where dreams are made of. I am going there tomorrow. And as you can tell from the title and the fact that I've got a giant suitcase sat here next to me, today I'm packing and prepping because obviously this is the last day I can pack and prep because I'm going tomorrow. So I need to get this done and I thought I'd do it with you and I've just noticed my Christmas blanket is falling all over the place. Last time I filmed one of these pack and prep with me videos was when I went to the Amalfi Coast and I had my big sofa and it made life so much easier. And now I've got my tiny sofa as my part-time replacement. It's a little bit difficult to fit me and the suitcase on the sofa together, but we're gonna make it work. I am literally just gonna get the suitcase open. I have not used this suitcase in literal years because for the past few holidays I've been on this year, or literally like every holiday I've been on this year, and I've been on nine holidays this year, which is a little bit excessive. Um, every, like, what am I trying to say? Every time I've been on holiday, I've used the same suitcase, but this time I'm going bigger because it's cold, I need a lot of outfits, I'm gonna be bringing a lot of stuff back with me, so I'm going for a bigger suitcase. And I've literally not used this one in so long, but I think, I think she should be a good size. So I'm gonna get this out and we'll go from there. We're gonna start off with packing and then move on to prepping. I think that's the best way to do it, although I am gonna hold my hands up here and say I have done one tiny little bit of prep already that I fake tanned yesterday because I need to wash and dry my hair today and trying to wash and dry your hair at the same time as fake tanning and allowing enough time to marinate in the golden brown colours of fake tan just wasn't going to quite fit in to today so I fake tan yesterday it's why I'm looking like I've been on a holiday to the Maldives which I haven't I wish I had but although you might be thinking that you will be covered head to toe going to New York I'm not going to be we will discuss that when I pack but I needed some fake tan on so I've done that um, other than that we're doing it all today so packing to start with I have these packing cubes I've never used these before um because I only got them recently but I thought they'd be quite a good idea and also I feel like an organized queen this holiday I'm not gonna lie I have planned out all my outfits all but one because I still need to plan that later on but I've got three outfits planned so far I've got an airport outfit slash day one outfit planned as well so I just need one more outfit because I'm going for five days um, but what I'm going to do, I've literally planned my outfits so that like, so all I need to bring is the stuff for the outfits because normally when I go away I bring so many clothes and then I end up not wearing half of them but I like to bring options but I thought if I plan my outfits beforehand then I know what I'm going to wear, I don't need to bring excess things and then it means I've got more stuff in the suitcase to bring things back from America. So I think I'm going to like do, I think there's seven in here. So I think maybe do one of like underwear, socks, things like that. I'm gonna do one of like hats, scarves, gloves, warm things. And then I might do some of the bigger ones as like day one outfit, day two outfit, if it will fit, we shall see. We're gonna start, we'll start with the outfits I think. Is that a good way to start? I don't know. Right, let's do that. I'm gonna start off with socks and pants. I hope they all fit in here. I've also got like tights and if I can fit my pajamas in here, I might do as well. I'm obviously packing about 500 pairs of pants. I don't know if anybody else does this, but I bring about 20 pairs of pants for a five day trip, just in case. And I don't know what that emergency could potentially be, but I always overpack and I feel like I'd rather overpack them and underpack them. So it's not necessarily a bad way to be. I'm bringing two pairs of new tights because I am gonna be having my legs out, which is potentially very, very stupid. Um, and some of you might be watching this and actually screaming at the screen. When I told Josh that he was literally like flabbergasted that I'm doing that, but I'm going more for the layering technique. So I feel like you can either go like jeans, top, jumper, coat, or you can go like more layers to keep you warmer, like that route. So I'm going down the layering route. So just bear with me, okay? But tights are very much essential, so they're in there. And then I'm bringing some like thick socks to wear as well. I also have these socks, which I got from Boohoo and they say New York on them and I just thought they're kind of cute. I don't know if I'm actually gonna wear them, but I thought they're cute anyway. An odd pair of socks for good measure. I think these will actually all fit in. My pajamas aren't gonna fit in there, but that's fine. That is socks and pants and tights all in our first little packing cube, which I think I'm gonna put in this side, which you can't see. So we'll save that for later. Next up, I'm gonna do hats, scarves, gloves, 
warm cozy accessories. I've got earmuffs and a hat. I might add another bobbly hat in as well but that is headwear to start with and then for my hands I've got these gloves because I know I'm going to be wanting to take loads of pictures and stuff so I've got some touchscreen gloves. I just feel like although they're a little bit ugly because they've got random colours, well not random colours, they're nice and beige but like I don't like why do we have to have that? Why can't we have the touch screen the same colour as the rest of the gloves? But these are going to be practical. I need to cut the tag off them. I also have the arm warmers, which also I could wear as leg warmers because they do fit. They kind of double up and they just like add an extra layer of warmth. I need to cut the tag off those. And a beige umbrella. I don't think it's going to rain, so I might not pack this. This is a maybe. I'm going to pack these though in another packing cube because I'm kind of loving this packing cube life. I feel like it works quite well. Um, so I'll do that. Um, Right, let's just shut up and pack this. I'm gonna watch a little bit of Home Alone 2 whilst I pack because I haven't watched it yet and I feel like that is an essential film to watch before going to New York at Christmas time. I also need to watch Elf, but I might download that to watch on the plane because I'm gonna download some stuff later. But Home Alone 2, Home Alone has always been my favorite Christmas film. It's just a film that me and my family always watched every Christmas together. So Home Alone, that kind of series is my favorite Christmas film. So it feels literally criminal. Like I need to watch Home Alone 2 right now. Like it just feels criminal if I don't. And I did also forget that I'm packing scarves and stuff. Like half my like warm stuff I forgot to mention. So I've got this like cream scarf from Primark which has a C on it because they didn't have a G at the time. So I just had to get a C for Clark. I've got another scarf I'm packing as well. And then I've also got these which I don't know if I'm bringing these or not because I don't think I've actually planned them in an outfit. So I don't necessarily need them. But I might bring them just in case. Again they're kind of like... These mittens, no, they're not mittens. They're like little like Borg fluffy things. I might bring them as well. If they fit in the little packing cube, then I might as well. I'm just trying to think, what am I gonna be able to watch Home Alone on? I think it's on Disney. Da, 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 da. I don't know why I keep, well, I do know why I keep singing that song, but I can't stop singing that song because it's just, it's a soundtrack to my next week, I suppose. And it's just stuck in my head. And I'm kind of not complaining though, cause I'm going to New York. Da, 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 da. Da, da. Home Alone 2, lost in New York. I hope that's not me. I do not want to get lost, but I want all the Christmassy vibes. Like literally when I am in New York, I'm going to be thinking, oh, this is where Home Alone was filmed. Oh, that's where the pigeon lady is. Oh, this is where Kevin ran away from the, um, I was going to say barristers, burglars. Like there's just so much going on. Right, my camera battery is about to run out of charge. So let me just change that. Then we'll get, we'll carry on with packing and watching Home Alone 2. are now done i still have a few left so i might put some other bits in them but for now i've got my one for layers i've got one for like all my underwear and stuff and then one for my like head stuff accessories winter accessories so that's pretty good i now just need to pack my toiletries which are over there my makeup and then the actual clothes so i'm going to talk you through what's in my makeup bag now just in case anyone cares and then we will go from there so this is my makeup bag and i thought i'd quickly just talk you through the makeup that i'm bringing just in case anyone cares because this is like the makeup i wear like every day it's my go-to makeup this is going to be in a completely random order because i just chucked all in here after i finished my makeup this morning um but i've got my huda beauty sugar cookie that is very american isn't it actually sugar cookie that is very on brand um easy base loose Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. Um, that makes my makeup last really well. Um, my Urban Decay Naked 2 Basics Palette because I use one of these for my nose contour and my NARS Eater Brush to go along with that for nose contour. And also, talking of nose contour, NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. There we go. Bronze um, Whip Thing from Primark. This is a really good dupe of the Chanel one and it also takes up less space. Um, so I prefer to bring this when traveling. I feel like this is really uninteresting. So I'm not gonna go through every single thing, but I've got my blusher, foundation, um, I'm going to be bringing my, where is it? I've got my Urban Decay um, makeup setting spray in here. And then also underneath my makeup, I'm going to wear my Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base and also my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. And the combination of these with this makes my makeup last really well. And obviously I'm going to be out for like 
when I go out in New York, I'm going to be out basically all day. So I want my makeup to last. And like with it being cold and then going in hot shops and the changing of temperatures, I feel like you need your makeup to last really well. So I have that. That is my makeup bag. I'm going to try and pack this a little bit neater and then this will be ready to go in because I'm not going to use my makeup tomorrow. I need to stop literally just sitting here and watching Home Alone because I actually have got packing that I need to do. So I'm now going to put all the packing cubes and also all the actual things I want to pack into the suitcase. So I'm going to scoot this along here. This half is pretty much packed now, but I do have a little bit more room to like put things on top of things but that is actually most of my stuff believe it or not and then in this side i'm going to try and fit these in these are probably the chunkiest thing i'm bringing they're kind of like snow boots but they don't squash down but i think i could stuff things inside them to make them take up less room and then i do also need to fit in here my like curling brush and also my straighteners and the curling brush is a little bit bulky um, but i need to pack that later once i've washed my hair so i'm just sort of bearing that in mind however I think I'm actually going to get it all fit in. So I need to try and I'm going to pack them like that. But I think, like I said, I'm going to put some things in them. And then I do also want to bring a pair of Christmas pajamas because I feel like that'll be so nice after being in New York all day, coming home or like coming back to the Airbnb, putting on some Christmas pajamas and then chilling. I feel like that'll be so nice. So I'm either going to bring these ones from Primark or I'm going to bring these like white Grinch ones. And I cannot decide which ones to go for but I need to fit them in but I feel like these could probably fit on top there so I'm gonna leave them there until I decide and then I've just got a few more kind of like bulky clothes to go in this side but I think it should all fit in and like I said I still need to find some stuff to put in here I might put the Christmas pajamas in here actually or I'm just trying to think oh actually I'm gonna take these leggings off here and roll them up and put them in here because I can't squash these down anyway so I might as well make the use of like the inside space in there and then that frees that bit up so I'm gonna put this blazer that I want to wear in that gap because then it just means that there's more space in here which is perfect there we go the idea though is to not fully fill up the suitcase because I want to have room to bring things back but I am also bringing a little wheelie like hand luggage suitcase which I'm gonna take empty so that I've got room for it to bring back but we'll get on to hand luggage in a minute I'm now gonna I'll probably just time lapse this and put the rest of the stuff in here and then we'll be done with packing then finally and we can move on. Okay, this is, let me just pick you up a second. This is a suitcase for now. So there's obviously still this gap, but the curler will probably take up that bit there. So I'll have about that corner left and there's also some room here, but I still have one more outfit that I need to work out and pack. But also like, I feel like everything can squish down more. So I have got the room. I do obviously need to weigh it, but I'm going to do that later once everything is finalized. So that is a suitcase. I'm going to move that now and we're going to move on to hand luggage. I'm now going to do a very quick fire. I'm going to try not to ramble too much what's in my hand luggage. Like I said, I am also going to bring like a little wheelie suitcase hand luggage, but take it out empty. So I'll probably just put this stuff in there like on the way out and then on the way back with Virgin, who we are flying with, you can have a suitcase, you can have a wheelie mini like hand luggage suitcase and you can also have a handbag. So I don't know if I'm going to bring this bag or whether I'm going to bring my longchamp bag. I'm not too sure, but I'm either going to bring like a bag like this, the wheelie suitcase and a big suitcase that is what I'm going to bring so I've got room to bring back all the New York American sweets souvenirs random things I decide to buy out there in terms of what's in here I have realized I don't have my passport but that is downstairs and mum will probably look after that even though I am 21 years old I'd much rather my mum look after it and we also have our like visa Esther um passes as well i ordered this off amazon the other day this is a travel pillow which i'm not going to get out of the packaging because it's like a sleeping bag once you get it out it's so difficult to get back in but it can pack down really well and it's got like rather than just being like the usual like shape like that like a kind of curved what's it it's got like a back bit to it as well not like a back bit but like a Thing to it as well so it should be a lot more comfy than a normal one and it's memory foam and I might just tie this onto my bag so that it's not taking up space in there and then in my bag I've got my iPad I need to download some stuff on that actually so I'm gonna do that now quickly I'm gonna download the new your Christmas or mine which has got the guy in it from um, sex education I've not heard anything about it but it's a Christmas film so I'm gonna download it I think I'm literally just gonna go down the route of only downloading Christmas things because I feel like that's probably the best way to be. Nativity is being downloaded. There is absolutely no question about that. That is just 
that's a given. There's no explanation needed. I'm gonna come back to Disney Plus in a bit. I'm gonna carry on with what is in here. So I have some headphones. These are from Shein. They're dupes of the Apple ones and these are so good. I took these with me when I went to Ibiza and they blocked out so much of the plane noise. You know, just like the noise of the engine and stuff. It's so noisy and these were perfect. Like they were so good. But I am also bringing my AirPods as well. And I've also got um, some wire headphones just in case these both run out of charge. Then I've got these as well. I've also got my tripod. I will have my camera but I'm obviously filming with it at the moment and some spare batteries because like I said I'm going to vlog the trip. I've got an eye mask. I've never really used one of these before but I thought if I want to try and sleep on the plane and because we're flying at like seven o'clock I think it's basically a daytime flight so if I want to sleep I feel like that could be quite handy. And then I am going to bring these but not all of them but these I got from Neutrogena and they're makeup remover cleansing towelettes. They're basically makeup wipes which I'm not a big fan of but I want to have a bit of makeup on for like the airport and stuff but because it's a nine hour flight i don't want to have makeup on the whole time so if i bring these and these are literally like individually packaged so they're literally this big and it's a little makeup wipe then i can take my makeup off and then don't have to carry loads of makeup remover with me so i'm going to take one of them and then i do also have like a toiletries thing um with a bit of makeup that i can put on um, I've also got in here, I got these from Primark the other day and I'm literally obsessed with them. I'm going to quickly move you actually so that you're closer up because I feel like this is an easier thing to film closer up so you can actually see things. So as I was saying, I also have my toiletries bag. This has basically just got various different bits of makeup in it. And I got these the other day from Primark and I'm so excited about them. They're these mini tweezers, which are literally ideal because I wear lashes every day. So these are perfect because I always carry tweezers around. And they come in a little case and they're tiny, so I love that. And then I also have this, which in here, this is a really ugly little pouch, which I think I got from Claire's Accessories literally years ago. Um, this just has like various different anxiety things because I do get a bit of travel anxiety. So I've just got like various different things in there i just find it easier to like compartmentalize everything i've got a tiny little um pack of uno in case we want to play that on the plane i've got my card holder and some sunglasses i've got a face mask just in case i need it i've got my bite agave lip mask because this is so good at moisturizing your lips and when like the plane has the air conditioning on and stuff and it's so drying this is perfect and then also i do have oh i've got this in here a pack of not a pack like a bar of the cabri mini snowballs which i haven't had yet and i'm very excited about it um but i might not take that i might just hold out for ms snacks we shall see but i've also got these in here which is some eye masks i don't think i'm going to bring both of them i'm just going to bring one but they're from sephora and um, i thought these would be so nice on the plane either these ones to kind of like wake me up or these ones to be nice and cooling and then i've also got a nose pore strip because i feel like those kind of things are fun on the plane and i've not been on a long plane journey in a few years so i'm actually kind of looking forward to it so i'm going to pack them i think that is pretty much everything in there for now i'm back on disney plus and i'm trying to download home alone it doesn't seem to want to work but i'm gonna now go through this and see what i want to download i'm on the like merry christmas section because like i said i only want to be watching christmas films on the way there i feel like it's like the perfect opportunity so i just need to see what I oh i might download that the santa claus yeah i'm gonna download that i might as well download loads because i don't know what i'm gonna want to watch and also i've obviously got the journey home as well and i can always watch things like on my ipad like when i'm there i'll obviously have wi-fi but it's kind of, what is this home sweet home alone i kind of want to download this but i'm scared that this might be so terribly bad that it might make me like Oh, do you know what? I'm going to give it a go. We are so nearly done, which I'm so happy about. I've just got a couple of prep bits to do. So I've got some crest... Cre I can't say this. I find this really difficult. Crest noticeably white, white strips that I'm going to put on to wear to my teeth. Um, so I'm going to do that in a second. And then I do also have some fake nails to put on, but I don't feel like that is the most interesting thing to film. So I'm probably just going to do that off camera. But I'm going to quickly pop one of these on. I'm not going to be able to say anything once these are on. So I feel like that's quite a good sort of way to end the video i just need to remind myself what i'm doing because i've kind of forgotten i'm gonna end the video now it was a bit more packing dominated than prep dominated but i feel like prep's a little bit like boring to watch like who wants to see me putting on a white strip realistically but i hope you enjoyed this video anyway give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe down below if you haven't already because you do not want to miss out on the new york vlogs and i shall see you at some point soon in another video bye